All right, well, I'm gonna paint a person today for the month of April, and this is a photo I took of Max yesterday. <laughs> I'm on my iPad here, because I thought it might help for you to see it, but the problem is I did Francesco's trick of doing the screenshot, but then I'm realizing this is divided in threes and not the way I usually divide it. So let's, we're gonna have to do it a little more carefully then I guess. Um, so this is six inches, so I'm gonna be marking two and four instead of three so that I can grid it into sixes. Um, yeah, and, and I kind of want to try to do this quickly, so I, I don't know. I'm just gonna yammer while I'm doing it, but then I'm gonna possibly speed this up and you won't hear me yammering anyway. Although, I don't know, sometimes people like the yammering, but I, I, my thinking is that I'm going to try to do these fairly quickly. Um, and I may even want to have the sketch part done before you see it, but I thought this would be helpful. Okay, so it's kind of nice. He's in a tree, so you can see part of the tree over here. But then he's got... Oh, you know what else? <laughs> I'm going to turn it upside down because that seems to help my brain do things when I've got it upside down. Let's see. Okay. There. So, chink, chink. This great little chin. Oh, and his lip is. See, but I'm not supposed to be naming these things, those things, am I? <clears throat> the reason I'm doing this is because I don't think I'm very good at people yet. And I would like to get better. And this is just a great time to find something that you want to get better at and work on it. Because <laughs> what else are you going to do, hey? Uh, let's see. So when I'm looking at these boxes, I'm trying to see where, like how far into the box does this come? He's got a little piece of red spray paint on his cheek. That crazy kid. Let's see. And the advice I've heard on teeth is to do them as a solid shape and don't worry so much about trying to do them as an individual thing. I'm also trying to look at my highlights. I don't, this box has a lot of stuff in it. <laughs> I, I think I made, I may have come up way too far with this. Yeah, I think I did. Because I think if I look at the box, my nose is down here. So I think I need to do this and go like this and go like this because there's a little eyebrow. And again, I'm not naming these things at all, right? I'm not saying it's an eye, right? Let's see, and some of this, I'm just, oh my gosh, I'm just feeling it. Oh, you can totally see my head in there, can't you? Sorry, I should make it so you can see this more and not me so much. Cool, okay. And this eye is mostly on that side. Poof, da, la, 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 la. And a lot of this, this is a fun picture because so much of this is, is black. So I don't need to worry about trying to get everything in. Let's see, okay, and now I'm gonna turn it around so I can actually see what I'm doing. Hmm. Yeah, see, so his, he's got this great lower lip here and his chin. So much about the human face is uh, suggestions, I think, more than trying to get 
-hmm. little things in there. It's kind of, it's like when I paint a white cat <laughs> where it's tricky. Tricky white kitties. Let's see, we'll go like that. You don't need to see that, but you want to see that. You want to see that, and then you want to see this. Okay. Oh, let's see. Okay, here's my paint. Gosh, I do have to tell you that. I, I love any opportunity to paint, and I have spent the last two days, and I know oh, I don't have a ton of time here because I've got to go online and meet my kids in less than an hour <laughs> and it's lunchtime right now so i really should be maybe eating lunch but i'm gonna try and do this because i kind of need to so let's see all right fortunately i was painting a siamese kitty so i have some lovely colors in here that easily turn into skin values So what I'm going to do is start laying some things down just so I can get a sense of my darks and lights because it's going to be about value on this. More than anything. I am just so lucky to be in this house with the people I love the most. And I'm also so lucky to be able to communicate with my other beloveds. I hope you're in a similar situation. And that everybody you've got around you is helpful and loving for you. Let's see. So there's some areas that are really light and some areas that are not so light. Um, I've got kind of a, let me see my palette, purpley areas over here. So I'm pulling out some of the more shaded shades. This was an interesting decision to do it on <clears throat> um, do this photo because of so much how much black is really in here it is really black and let's see so I'm really trying to make sure that I'm looking at this and not so much this otherwise I'll get a little freaked out. Let's see. Lips are such a funny color. And I think it really, it did go too high with the mouth. So if I can pull it back down a little there, that might help. Let's see, I'm going to actually pull up some light. I'm feeling like I need to see where that's gonna go. Okay. I'm lucky that my child knows how to smile. <laughs> I'm not sure he's he's just sitting in the other room, so he's probably Yep, yeah, he's listening. He's kind of sweet. He could even be smiling right now, but I can't see him from here.
Is the pug with you, Max? Okay, I can hear her snoring. I'm not sure that it makes it all the way over here to the video, but that's kind of funny. Let's see. Where am I getting to here? I think I'm going to suggest the blue of his eyes. But I want to kind of gray it down just a little so it's not too intense. That's not even blue. What happened to my blue? Um, let's see. What do I want to? Feeling like I got to do something for the tree. The tricky thing with people too is you don't want to, <clears throat> you got to kind of, oh my gosh, talking and painting again. Uh, I can't, I don't want to leave quite so much black showing on here. So I got to kind of close up some of my areas where there's a lot of black. But then like with this eye over here, I actually want a little bit more black in there for the eyelash to show. Let's see, and how do I how do I suggest some of the darker hair areas back in here? Let's see. ruined something there. Hmm. I'm getting glare on here and I'm having a hard time seeing what I'm doing. Well, I guess it's... Okay, when I look there, I can see a little better. Okay, I lost my nose. Okay, I'm trying to go back in with some of the lighter stuff. Because I think I kind of crashed it there. It's got such nice eyelashes. I don't think I've wiped my brush off at all yet. And I'm realizing I can't get a very sharp line because of that. And I seem to be just ignoring that though. Well, all right, let's just keep rolling here then. I'm feeling a little bit of a, I gotta hurry up and get going thing because I need to, I do actually need to get going. I think, I don't like that's too... Hmm, there's something I'm not liking here and I don't know what it is. It doesn't feel quite like Max. <clears throat> um. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do at this point Dab a little highlight under his eyes. I do have to admit that having <clears throat> having deadlines seems to be helpful to me, or at least a, like I know I need to stop kind of a thing. It's tricky because you can't see his pants in there or anything. So I don't, I don't know that I love that this is just kind of in the dark, so I'm going to put a little bit of stuff in there and make 
a dark brown for his hair. So I can just put a little, oh, that's too light. There, I think we'll go with that. And I think I'm gonna actually stop there. I might touch it up a little bit more, but there's kind of my boy. All right, that's today's. Thank you.